Hi, I'm Matt Harrison, President of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. Welcome to February's News Digest. This month's featured video takes us to Texas, where the generosity of the people of the LCMS is making relief efforts possible in small towns and big cities where Lutherans are volunteering, cleaning, repairing, and rebuilding homes and lives. Our featured photo gallery shows you this amazing mercy work as well. And I want to thank all of you for being so generous. We've taken in about nine and a half million dollars since August for the number of disasters that have hit. We've been able to respond to every request from the Texas District. In Puerto Rico, we've been able to commit to specific projects. What a blessing, and thank you, LCMS, for the great trust you show. In KFUO's World Lutheran News Digest, you'll hear from one of the producers of the new film, Roe vs. Wade, The Untold Story. It's a very eye-opening look at the whole issue of abortion. In The Reporter, you'll read about how love saves lives as Lutherans march for life again this past January. In The Lutheran Witness, we launch a new column written by Jean Edward Veith called Worldview, a look at the news from a Lutheran perspective. And the new Engage tells the story of a new seminary in the Dominican Republic that's preparing men to spread the gospel and plant Lutheran churches. This whole effort in the Dominican was begun about a decade ago by LCMS World Relief and Human Care and LCMS World Mission at the time with one missionary with a Bible during the rainy season and an umbrella. There's big news from our Mission Field USA as they debut a first of its kind online tool to help congregations plant new churches. This is really an amazing resource. I hope you have a look at it. And speaking of resources, we've got another fabulous help in the form of a new Everyone His Witness website that works in concert with the recently introduced Everyone His Witness core module kit available through CPH. Make sure you check that out. It's a wonderful lifestyle kind of approach to evangelism, very strong on the Lutheran understanding of the strength of the word shared and the vocations which the Lord puts us in. And there are some very important events coming up. The Lutheran School Administrators Conference takes place March 11 to 13. And just after that, Lutheran Youth Fellowship hosts its 2018 leadership training from March 15 to 18. We wish you a very blessed Lent. I was reading Luther's sermon from 1534 for the first Sunday in Lent. The text he preached on was Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. And Luther writes, So first we want to note and learn from the example of our dear Lord Christ that every Christian, as soon as he is baptized, is marshaled into an army in confrontation with the devil and from his baptism onward is saddled with the devil who harasses him as long as he lives. If this bitter enemy cannot by his own onslaughts get the better of Christians and bring about their downfall, he seeks to hang them on the cross and kill them as he did Christ. All Christians face such attack, for the adversary never relents, but continues to try to wrench us away from Christ and our baptism by means of hunger or persecution, by worldly fame and wealth, or by heresy or false interpretation of the scriptures, so that we give way to despair and vain glory. If such tricks fail, the devil tries to get us by the throat and strangle us to death. We can learn from Christ's encounter with Satan how to deal with and overcome this adversary so that he's forced to let us go. However, this happens only through true faith in God and his word. Whoever thus arms himself properly will be able to withstand the devil, but whoever fails to do so will certainly be helpless against his deadly adversary. It is the bounden duty, therefore, of every Christian to earnestly hear God's word and its preaching, diligently learn, and become well-versed therein. We also should persevere in earnest prayer that God would let his kingdom come among us, not lead us into temptation, but graciously deliver us from all evil. 
Luther gets it right. We live in a very dark and troubled world as we were reminded again most recently in Florida. But all we need is this, Jesus and his blessed word. Let's hold to it. God bless you. He will keep you. The Lord be with you. Blessed Lent.